Hey guys, it's Crypto Llama here, and today we're going to talk about some specific cards that will put you in good stead for the upcoming change to the reward system. These assets will not only have increased utility down the road, but they'll also help you gain extra rewards on a daily basis. Before we jump in, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and jump into my community discord as I have some great giveaways coming up, including these beautiful holographic Splinterlands cards. You can find all the details for that in the video description below, but now back to the video. So guys, neutral cards are a great way for both beginners and adept players to stack those Ws, because with the exception of the taking sides rule set, where no neutral cards can be played, these cards have far greater application than the majority of other Splinterlands cards, for the simple reason that they are not Splinter specific and can be played whenever you enter the battlefield. For this reason, other than Summoners, these could be some of the most important cards within the Splinterverse. And right now may be one of the best times to purchase these cards as the card market has taken a dive recently and you can pick these up for peanuts. We also know that with the latest daily focus rewards update, the way that these focus will be structured will be changing in the not too distant future. One question I'd like you to ask yourselves is, how can the Splinterlands team make the card and rental prices increase? The simplest change here is the most obvious. If the daily focus is a change and instead of a player just being able to rent out one splinter of cards for the day, why not make the daily focuses ability specific? as this would essentially force players to purchase or rent more cards. This would obviously bring more value to both cards and rentals and would likely see a hike in card prices as a result. Now, because neutrals can be used in whatever matchup, these cards are going to be pivotal moving forwards because with this announcement for the daily focus changes, we're going to need cards with specific abilities that can be played alongside any Splinter to obtain those rewards. And of course, as mentioned, the cards that can be played in any Splinter will be the most valuable going forwards because if you have a card which can satisfy your daily focus quest that can be played in any lineup, your win rate will increase dramatically as you'll be able to slide that card into any Splinter that you need. So before we head over to Peak Monsters and purchase anything, I'd like to share with you a fantastic tool which some of you may or may not know already. And this will help you find these undervalued assets. I'll leave all the linkage in the video description below for you. So here we have Summoner's Lab and we can hit the explore button at the top and then select our filters. Personally, I'm gonna be playing modern mostly. So I'm gonna hit the Untamed, Dice and Chaos Legion buttons. Then I'm gonna hit the neutral cards. Now that we've done this, we're gonna to wanna to hit the seven day percentage column as this is gonna shortlist all the cards with the largest reduction in price over the past seven days. This is really gonna help us find these undervalued cards which have reduced in value over these past seven days. Now that we know which cards are undervalued, we can go to the card section at the top. I'm gonna to apply the same filters as I used on the explore page. And then we can also sort by the win rate drop down menu here. After we've done this, we've now considered the two most important variables, the cards with the highest win rate and also the cards which had dropped substantially in value over the past seven days. This has allowed us to pinpoint the exact cards which are currently undervalued. A handy tip for those new to the Splinterverse, the best time to purchase these undervalued assets is usually towards the end of the season, when there is an influx of cards hitting the market from all the rewards that players have accumulated for the end of season. You'll notice if you look at Summoner's Lab around this time, you'll see the greatest depreciation in prices. This may very well be the best time to get those juicy deals. So now that we've jotted these cards and details down, we're gonna head over to the Peak Monsters website. I prefer to use Peak Monsters than any other card market because if we're making larger purchases, we're going to get back something for it. And that is the PKM token, and we can use or redeem this token to pay for portions of our fees. If you want a more detailed analysis of the PKM token, I've also released a video previously, and I'll put that in the video description below for you. But the TLDR version of it is, if we're making larger card purchases, we're gonna get something back for it. Just as a side note, unless you're planning on purchasing Chaos Legion packs, which means that it doesn't matter if DEC increases or decreases in price because it's pegged to Chaos Legion boosters. I probably wouldn't risk holding large amounts of DEC for an extended period of time at the moment because we'll likely see some selling pressure as we progress closer to the end of the airdrop, where individuals will be swapping out their DEC for other tokens that offer more stable price action. So now we can select the cards which we know are the most undervalued. I'm gonna also select Modern here 
and we can put either bids on them here or we can make bog purchases. We're gonna want to make sure that some of these cards that we've chosen have specific abilities like sneak, opportunity, scattershot, and things like that, which we know will be used in these upcoming changes. Just remember as well, if we look at this table here, we're going to receive more PKM tokens by purchasing cards in bulk rather than putting bids through. But if you can scoop up some cards with low bids, definitely go for that option instead. And that's it for today, guys. You are now a master at finding cards that have great win rates whilst also being incredibly undervalued. I hope you found this useful. And if you have, hit that like and subscribe button so you can check out all my latest Splinterlands content. But other than that, I will see you on the blockchain.